Well, last morning in Biloxi. Drive to New Orleans later, flying back home tonight. So I just little walk up to the the lighthouse of Biloxi. Gosh. It is. Building for visitor centre. Butterflies around. Oh, right, come a couple. All over the place. Right, come in. So I'm just heading up into Bloxy quickly. Uh, a few. Elvis related, a couple of Elvis related sites that no longer <laughs> exist unfortunately um, but up behind the hotel here which I obviously can't get access to is the Keesler Air Force Base um, and Elvis played here at the Keesler Air Force on 27th, 20th of June 1955 also was here 7th and 8th of November 55 and it's at, at Keesler Air Force Base where Elvis first met June Juanico who would become his girlfriend, uh, well his out of town girlfriend shall we say more or less for close on the next 14 months or so she would come up visit in Memphis and Elvis would come down here to Biloxi as he did after the July 4th Russwood Park concert in Memphis Elvis more or less had three weeks to a month off before go heading off on another tour and he spent most of the time down here in the Bloxy area with June when he go and her family and the group out fishing just on this site here just past Hard Rock Cafe down there on the right, <laughs> McDonald's here. Just here on the left is a, it's a, I think it's an old retirement building that uh, is either being renovated or due for demolition. But it was on this site here that the Biloxi Community House stood. And it was in the Biloxi Community House on 6th of November 1955 that Elvis played a date. Not too long before heading to Nashville for the disc jockey convention where he was named the most promising country artist of 55 and not long before signing his, well, a couple of weeks, but two weeks or so before signing the RCA contract. The community house was destroyed in 1969 by Hurricane Camille. And there's just one more site quickly to head to here in Biloxi. So uh, here's the other Biloxi site. On this corner here stood the Slavonian Lodge, 13,000 13, square foot structure with a meeting hall accommodating 600 people. 
Known as the Slavonia Lodge, the building served as a social centre for the large number of ethnic Slavs in the area who are key in developing Biloxi's oyster and shrimp industry. The lodge hosted social activities including a performance by Elvis Presley on June 25th, 1955. The Slavonian Lodge was destroyed during Hurricane Katrina in 2005. This was actually the first place he played in Biloxi. played during it on well, June 25th, it says there. Um, and the next two nights following this were the two nights he played in the Keesler Air Force Base. So I have a Quite, uh, quite active in the Bloxy area during 1955. Head back to the hotel because we'll be heading off soon towards uh, to New Orleans. Just heading back to the airport after 16 nights tour in the deep south. It's gone really quick. Back where we started. Back where we started. Back where we started. Uh, crazy. 